early on, we believed rose quartz didn't equal pink diamond. Now, pink diamond equals rose quartz, the persona. When I first saw the episode, I thought something happened to pink diamond and rose pretended to be her to make it look like she was shattered. But it was for that one shot I somehow missed was how Rose's gem shifted, rotated, and not exactly changing form. Well, when I realized what the fuss was about, and how much more of it has hit the fan, it completely changes how we see Rose and Pink Diamond. It completely changes the circumstances for the characters, and changing how the show goes on from here. All of this is obvious. I'm not ignoring those facts. And then... When I hear of other people's views on this, and why they're not happy with this theory being true, yes, some things don't add up. Then there's my thoughts. With all this included, what if this could be looked at in another way? I mean, who here has not gone through moments where the people we know in our lives, or who we know of by their uh, persona, uh, someone who's famous, well-known, uh, have done things we would not expect them to do that changes their perception of them. What do you do from there? How do you look at your own life, the choices made, the outcomes that transpire from them? A person who you look up to, you admire, transform into the complete opposite that now questions many things. There are some levels of reality for those who have experienced deceptions and lies. While Steven Universe is a fictional show, we end up taking liberties of their storytelling that tell things that can happen in real life mixed with fictional elements. In this case, fans are betrayed by the revelation as well as the characters are. We react how we'll react as the characters will react how they will react. Good or bad, it's reasonable or insane, we do what, what we'll do during that mindset, dealing with those conflictions and whatever opinions and feelings we have are our own, as well as our next actions or inactions taken. Many possibilities come of it, some predictable, others not so much. Obviously, I'm not condoning any negative behaviors or actions. People are going to do what they want to do, or they do what they think that they will do. But I do, on the other hand, hope there will be other individuals who make better choices, what really is better truthfully and honestly, and become a better person out of it. Perhaps, Pink Diamond can also be seen as a perception of the SJW stereotype, believing in the rights of others, especially women and minority groups of all kinds, accusing those of fascism or totalitarianism, but they themselves are just as selfish, egotistical, racist, and fascist as the ones they call out on. The naive also influencing others for better or worse. Some might even have beliefs they used to have, only to change them when it suits them regardless of the consequences. I mean, Pink Diamond has shown to be a childish and naive ruler who wanted the colony, but just decided after what it's like didn't want to do it anymore, and would rather be on Earth she came to admire, and then develops a persona to get out of the responsibility via an assassination and going on life with a clean slate. This transformation has definitely changed what I thought and what everyone else has thought of Rose Quartz, of how she was viewed and what she used to mean. And now we can't go back when a simple pale rose never existed.